So Dr. Sai, I understand you've been having some trouble with your shoulder. What's been going on? Yeah, I've had a lot of wear and tear in my shoulder in the past. I was a power lifter in college and did a lot of overhead sports and actually had an operation on my shoulder uh, a couple years ago, which is overall done pretty good, but because of my activity in playing golf and lifting weights, uh, having some pain on my biceps tendon and a little bit on my rotator cuff, which is a little bit beat up. I previously had a similar amniotic fluid injection in my low back for a bad disc, and that was awesome. So I'm here today to have Dr. Deere uh, inject my shoulder and my biceps tendon to see if I can't get some longer lasting relief. And uh, I've been using Amnion a lot in knee arthritis. What's your experience been like in like foot and ankle? Yeah, I've had several patients that have used it for plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis, and some of the arthritis. And overall, it's been uh, good in my practice. It gives patients an option to hopefully avoid surgery or delay surgery. So at least as useful as steroid injections, and hopefully uh, more so than just an anti-inflammatory. A lot of these injections, or these types of injections, have a regenerative property that steroids don't. Cool. And so you believe in it enough, and I, I do as well, that we're going to try it on yourself for the second time, right? Yeah, I'm a believer, especially after my back. Um, initially, I had some reservations until I tried it myself. Initially, I was getting uh, an epidural steroid injection every six months or so, uh, and I was sort of tired of doing that. And so uh, having had the amniotic injection, um, I'm, I'm a believer now is my pain. Not that I'm uh, 18 again, but uh, the pain I pain relief I have received from uh, the injection has helped me tremendously. Perfect. So like you said, we're going to do two injections. One, we're going to go right in the bicepal groove. Patients often get bicepal tendonitis and he's having pain kind of right over that groove. And then also around the rotator cuff, he's been having some impingement signs, so we're going to do one right there. So if you don't mind, let's have you have a seat up here. And let's see, you want to start with the biceps first? Yeah, sure. Go. So we're going to find the point where he hurts the most. Does that feel all right? Yeah, that's looking in the right spot. So move that over. All right, so I'll get supinate there. Yeah, maybe. Is that it? Maybe even a slight bit lower. And a little more medial? Yeah. 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 That's it? Yeah. Okay. Just make a little indention there. Perfect. So I'm going to push right over the indention again. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Fluoride, it numbs the skin. It sprays in your face. <laughs> All right, man, so we're going to go right in. One, two, three, poke. Get down to the bone there. there. Uh -huh. If you want to point your knees towards the door there, just kind of let your arm hang down a little bit. Perfect. Oh, you got a nice little spot there. So this this shot, we're going to aim right underneath the acromion, right on top of the rotator cuff.
Thank you. No problem. It's already 100% better, right? <laughs> so how, in your experience, how long does it usually take? How long did your epidural injection take to get better? Um, so I thought it was going to end up taking several weeks because that's some of the stuff I've heard, but really within two or three days it felt a million times better. Nice. And so I didn't need any anti-inflammatories or Tylenol or any of that type of thing um, for pain relief. I put a little bit of ice on it and I was supposed to give it a week or ten days break, but really I ended up hitting balls, yeah, really? hitting golf balls a few days later. and so. And it, it's not too unexpected to have a little soreness after because, in, in essence, we're inducing a little inflammation, right? Supposedly, yeah. trying to get it to heal a little bit. That's right. Even with steroid shots, I mean, we are putting a needle into tissue or a joint, so there's going to be a little bit of irritation just because of that before it improves because of the, the amniotic fluid or steroid and that type of thing. So, um, do you prefer patients staying off anti-inflammatory for a little bit? Yeah. Same with PRP, stem cells, anything like that. I'd say just plain Tylenol, if anything. Plain Tylenol, yeah. And I'm, I kind of <clears throat> think the same thing, although I think maybe a little bit of ibuprofen or that if needed, uh, systemically need through the stomach, probably doesn't really yeah. affect a, a localized shot. But yeah. if, if avoidable, I think Tylenol would be ideal. Ice and heat and a little bit of rest is yeah. probably useful. And usually about a week, I'll tell patients you can slowly increase your activity just tolerate it. So. Perfect. All right, Thank well, you. hopefully you do well. Thank you. No problem. All right. Thank you. All right.